Steve drives inside. Shot is good. Oh, spectacular move there from Kyrie Irving. It's back up. Hey everyone, Coach Levy here with Prime Letics. Today we're going to be going over ball handling, something that you need to do every day. Fundamentals are missing now, and we're coming to put them back. First thing that you want to do and want to pay attention to when becoming a ball handler is you want to pay attention to your stance. You can't have a narrow stance. I see a lot of people too narrow right here. If I had that ball tight right here, that's easy for a defender to steal. I got to be out here, feet low past shoulder width length. The whole point of this, I want to be able to shift my weight and maneuver my weight. The wider my base, the wider my stance, I can shift my weight easy. When I'm crossing over, when I'm in and out just dribbling period i can shift my weight easier and sell it the wider my stance is now if i'm narrow and i just go right here i'm not really moving so my defender's not moving if i'm in a wide stance i go over here they kind of got to go i go over here they gotta they gotta move with me and react and that's where you can catch them off guard with a crossover we're gonna get right into it wide stance and we're going ankle low now keep in mind all of these drills you want to count out to 50 in your head i'm kind of taking you through and going to be explaining what you're trying to look for and the purpose of each one you start off ankle low now the whole point of this see how low it is i'm trying to control and make sure that my fingertips are moving the ball a lot of people think the palm moves the ball the fingertips control everything about the ball how you move it i want to be right here as low as i possibly can if it dies on you that's all right get it right back make sure you're starting to practice having that guide hand out get in the habit having that guy hand out I see too many people right here dribbling lazy or here remember you want to get out of it what you put into it so i got to be right here game game speed game ready so i'm right here fingertips controlling then i'm shifting over to that left side right here I'm counting out for 50. The whole point to being in this stance and practicing stationary is to get you ready for game-like simulation. When you're tired, when it's burning, don't stand up. Try to stay down there because too many people lose the ball when they're ball handling because they start low and they pop up. So they go to cross over and they pop up and the ball's not there. You gotta stay low this whole time. Anytime you dribble the ball, stay low. Hips flex, stay low. I wanna move right to knee high. So now I'm starting to have a little bit more control over the ball. I'm pounding the ball into the ground solid. I'm starting to work. Now I'm still controlling it with my fingertip the whole time. So I'm 50 right there. And then I'm 50 with the left hand. I'm driving the ball into the ground. Then I come back over. I'm right here, shoulder high. I want maximum control still in my stand. So I'm controlling the ball as high as I can. Now, notice my guide hand is still out. I'm dribbling the ball as hard as I can, as high as I can. I'm not carrying the ball. Hand is on top of the ball and I'm controlling it the whole time. Switch over to the left. From there, one foot forward, one foot back. And I wanna just go back and forth, back and forth. The whole key to this is just coordination. I just want coordination over the ball. You're not really gonna do this dribble in the game. If you're a very skilled player, you might come up with some type of move, a little and one mixtape move, come with this, then you just switch. Remember, everything's 50 right here, rocking it back and forth. Now we're going in and out. The in and out is so important because a lot of people don't realize you have to shift your weight. I just can't go here. The in and out is not moving. When I'm shifting that in and out, I'm moving my whole body. Whole body. Left to right, coming back. Same thing, right to left, coming back. I'm just going in, curving it out. In and out, shifting my body. Shifting my body and going. Guide hand is still up. I'm still protecting the ball. Anybody swipes that, I'm swiping their arm away. Then I switch. From there, I want to get into the crossover. Crossover is so basic, you have to keep it low. The golden rule of basketball, you keep the ball between your knee and your ankle and you'll be fine. Any higher than that, it's liable to get picked off. If you're in this new age of tall guards, you're a 6'5 guard, you're playing a 5'8 guard, it's going to be a little bit harder, so you got to keep that ball extra low. So you really have to get down here. That ball almost has to just skid across the ground. The first one, we're going to keep it tight right here. Just to get, so, just to get a little bit of coordination with it. Right here. Then once we get our 50, we widen it out. Widen it out. Notice how I'm shifting my weight the whole time. Shifting my weight. Real low. And the reason I'm coming out here is because if I have a defender playing me and they go for that steal and I'm used to having the ball out here, now their hand is going to be out here. I got that ball secure and I'm going. I'm staying low with the ball. I'm swiping their hand and I'm going. Now I want to go back and forth. So I'm going back and forth. Getting it warmed up. So 50 right there, and then switch it. Stand low. So notice how my hand is right there to receive the ball. I don't want to have that hand and have to go get it. I'm keeping it low, receiving the ball. I want to go stationary scissor. After the stationary scissor, then I want to get some to move it with the scissor. People do the scissor two ways. 
They go straight up and back. Tell people swivel the hips. I like the swivel more because I think it's realistic. Now we're gonna go harder way. Harder way is between the legs, cross over. Between the legs, cross over. So shift the weight, drop the shoulder, cross over. Boom. And then just to end it, now I'm going behind the back. So I'm sitting low, I'm getting that ball underneath. Sitting low, getting that ball underneath. I hope this stationary warm up helps you. Remember, use this anytime. If you have a day off, go and do it for 10, 15 minutes, and you can increase the reps on your own. You don't have to do 50. If you have a day off, do 150. Might take you 20 minutes, but so what? You're working. Remember, you only get out of this stuff what you put into it. So you have to work at this. You're not just gonna wake up. You're not gonna wish overnight to become a better bar hand and then wake up and it's gonna happen. You gotta put in the work for it. And then you take it from the fundamentals. That's when you can do all the fun stuff, all the sham guys, all the double crossover with the behind the back wrap, all of that stuff. But you gotta start here and learn how to control the ball. Fingertip control is the most important thing. You do this warm up, I guarantee you'll start to develop fingertip control in even about two weeks. Put in the work, you will get something out of it. If you have any questions at all, make sure you comment below. We want you guys to become better basketball players. All these fundamentals and drills that we take you through, we want you to do them and incorporate them into your daily routine. You will see results. If you put in the work, I guarantee you will see the results. I promise you. I'm not showing you anything that I wouldn't show my pro players. Okay.